Hello and welcome back, Wolfpack. Thanks for joining us for this update here at Lake Mariner, Terra Wolf's hydro-powered Bitcoin mining facility in upstate New York. I'm Sean Farrell, head of operations for Terra Wolf. Today, we're gonna to take you through a quick update on the progress of our latest mining building and show you a preview of Miner Building 5, which will begin phase two, where the company will build out and expand Terra Wolf's operations to roughly 500 megawatts. Hello everyone, I'm Dan Heidemann, Site Operations Manager at Lake Mariner Data. We wanted to take you through an overview of our newest miner building, Building 4. As of today, we have the foundation and the structure fully complete and have begun the installation of our matrix vents, siding, louvers, and electrical equipment with racks quickly to follow. Similar to Miner Building 3, Building 4 will have natural ventilation without the use of exhaust fans, decreasing the power usage effectiveness, also known as PUE, making it one of the most efficient miner buildings in the space. The next step in our construction process will be to install our integrated racks purchased from Hydra, which you saw in our last construction update of Building 3, followed by electrical connection and integration to begin mining in the coming weeks. I'll now pass it back to Sean, who will take you through a preview of Phase 2 of Lake Mariner Data's Bitcoin mining build-out. Phase 2 is already underway with long lead equipment contracts in place to maximize the site capacity by 2026. This will include buildings 5 through 10 and house roughly 300 megawatts of power and 20 exahash of Bitcoin mining capacity, which will only increase as ASIC technology continues to improve. This will bring this site's operational capacity to a total of 500 megawatts and over 30 exahash, potentially more, as legacy miners are replaced with future generations. As you can see in these shots, Miner Building 5 will be placed here, north of Building 4 and west of Building 1. We've determined this location as the optimal place based on studies of predominant wind patterns conducted by third-party experts. Minor Building 5 is being designed alongside three of our lead contractors, Moffitt, O'Connell, and Hole. This collaborative design will be the model for all future buildings with common equipment across the site for maximum uptime and to drive our safety first mentality by equipment familiarity. With lessons learned from almost 500 megawatts of Bitcoin mining infrastructure under our belts, we set the stage and guide rails to let the experts in each of their trades work to optimize Terra Wolf's modular data centers. The benefit of having this level of infrastructure and power capacity at one site from one operational perspective is that we're able to achieve greater speed and efficiency with each iteration of our minor buildings. We've built three now here at Lake Mariner, working on number four, and with every building, we get better and faster, continuously perfecting our systems and processes. Now we'll take it back to Sean. Both our vertical integration strategy and the partnerships we have established with the local community and vendors have been instrumental in this process, allowing us to execute quickly and efficiently, decreasing lead time and increasing the quality and performance of our build-out. From a business perspective, this ability to scale at the Lake Mariner site means low cost, rapid growth, and access to consistent, abundant, and sustainable hydropower to expand our Bitcoin mining operations. We don't have to go out and search for this asset. We have it right here in our backyard. In the ever increasing race for data center infrastructure, we value this ability to scale as one of Terra Wolf's greatest business assets. Thanks for joining us. Please follow us on socials via the links below. And from the Wolfpack, happy, happy hashing. hashing.